to day four of the Iowa Group Travel Association's virtual FAM tour. I bet you're not as tired as you are on a real live in-person tour, huh? I am Kim Grivach, and I am your host. I'm with CIT Signature Transportation, and this is my lovely motor coach that I am on. On day four, we're going to experience a little bit more water. I know, who knew, in Iowa. This time, it's a river that we get to see when we go to Charles City. And if you're brave enough, maybe you want to go white water rafting. What? I know there's no mountains, but you can still go white water rafting in Iowa. And if that's not your cup of tea, it's just a little stroll up and you can see some wonderful, unique artwork, famous pieces too, in Charles City. After that, we're going to go to the Hawkeye Buffalo Ranch. Now, there are lots of buffalo in South Dakota, but it's in Iowa where you get to feed one you truly get to experience what it's like to be surrounded by buffalo. From there, we're going to also do some more experiencing at the Wilder Memorial Museum. After all, when the buffalo roamed the plains of Iowa, the Wilder Museum has many artifacts from that time and throughout history. So today on day, day four, let's buckle in and have another great adventure.
When you walk into the Wilder Memorial Museum, you walk into a wonderful place of heritage and artifacts to proclaim the personality and the pleasures of many people. We opened in April of 1970, thanks to a magnificent doll collection by Blanche Baldridge and Gladys Keneally. We have a magnificent tractor collection. The furnishings here were collected by Marcy Alderson, who was a piano teacher for over 50 years in Strawberry Point. We have exquisite hanging lamps, beautiful, beautiful china pieces. We have arrowheads that were collected near or around Strawberry Point. There is both beauty and personality and stories to be told and learned at the Wilder Memorial Museum.